continuing our uh, celebration of D3 week here with uh, volleyball sophomore Hannah Kuehl. And uh, Hannah, you're from uh, originally Plymouth, New Hampshire, which is pretty much in the middle of the state, kind of middle of nowhere in the state. Um, <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of colleges between there and Goucher. Like, what made you decide to come here? Um, well, I heard about Goucher through a book. It's like 40 schools you've never heard of or something. Um, and so I came for a visit with my mom during the summer. Um, and I really like the area, Towson is nice. Goucher is the furthest college that I was looking at, so I didn't want to go much further than that from home. And then I came on a volleyball visit overnight, and that was pretty much what solidified it for me, was spending the night with the team and hanging out and kind of seeing what the program was about. So just knowing that I would be able to come to college and play volleyball and still have the college experience, I guess, go to classes that I wanted and do other things was what made me decide, I think. Okay, with with Plymouth being a small area, you know, population-wise, like how are you able to get noticed, you know, through volleyball? I mean, I don't, I don't think you played any club in high school, is that true? So. Yeah, um, I just played on my high school team. I guess I didn't really know how big of a thing club was until I got here. Um, club wasn't really, club volleyball was, there was no really programs up in New Hampshire. And um, so getting noticed, I actually sent my tapes to like Coach Bossom and other coaches. I guess I didn't really get recruited, which I didn't know at the time. <laughs> but um, so I kind of had to put myself out there and um, make myself get noticed as opposed to being on the club teams, I guess, where coaches scout and do things like that. Um, so it was more like that. And then after that, just being in contact with the coaches and staying up to, up to date with them about everything. Okay. I mean, did, was getting to play volleyball in college a big thing for you, like in addition to the academics and all that? Um, it wasn't really until my junior year in high school that I figured that I wanted to play. Before that, I wanted to play basketball. <laughs> and then junior year, um, I really started to enjoy volleyball and started to figure it out. Um, so when I figured that out, it was definitely something that I wanted to keep doing and something to improve upon and just to stay involved in sports was pretty important. Okay, and I mean within the NCAA, like how important do you think it is to have a level like D3 where someone like you who, you know, not a whole lot of experience in high school, like has a chance to keep playing and get better, like in college? Yeah, it's super important. It's um, definitely a, an experience that's uh, different from going to college and not playing sports. Um, just allowing you to be on the team and having teammate in like the teammate connection and also having connections with alumni and past players on the teams and stuff like that and yeah just being able to get better and continue what what you like to do. Okay I mean how much better do you think you've gotten through getting the chance to play you know at college compared to your high school days? A lot better <laughs> for sure yeah coming I remember freshman year coming in the first two weeks was like I felt like I didn't know how to play volleyball it was so <laughs> frustrating um, and then after that you kind of realize like Oh, volleyball is the same whether I'm in New Hampshire or Maryland or wherever I am. So, and just learning from Bossom and my teammates and my other coaches uh, definitely helped me improve a lot. Okay. Do you think being able to be on a collegiate team has helped you know your overall college experience as well? For sure. Yeah. Just meeting meeting the girls that I'm friends with. You know, coming in especially as a fall athlete, you get the connection like two weeks before school starts so you have that core group of friends before classes even start and yeah helps with time management all those things that they say like time management keeps you busy it really does mm -hmm. it helps with everything kind of keep everything in line okay and I mean D3 there's supposed to be an extra you know emphasis on academics and all that do you think um, that D3 does allow for extra opportunities that you might not have if you were a scholarship athlete yeah, definitely. Um, just with classes that I want to take, I can pick my classes, I can do what I want, and also the ability to study abroad. And um, I don't know how much of a chance you'd be able to do that at other schools or bigger schools and other divisions, but definitely just having the study abroad options or still being able to work or have a job or do internships while we're here, I think is pretty important too. Okay, and studying abroad is a big goucher thing. Like, mm -hmm. do you have any plans yet for where you're gonna go? Um, I plan on going to Argentina next spring. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, you're only a sophomore. How about any post-grad plans, any ideas? 
No idea. <laughs> I just declared my major, so we'll see. Hopefully I'll set up an internship soon and um, start to figure out what I want to do. Okay. Yeah, you have plenty of time for that. Yeah. But uh, All right. Well, thanks for joining us, and uh, thanks for good luck me. next year. Yeah.